and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally, finally doing a video about my Google Calendar. And I've decided that this is going to count as my Google Calendar task batching and time blocking video because honestly this is kind of where I do all of that stuff so we're just going to kind of mush everything into one. So this video has been a long time coming. I learned how to do time blocking and task batching from watching some of Amy Landino's videos. I'll link her channel down below and I found it really helpful for certain things. So I know that for somebody who's maybe a freelancer who has a lot of kind of repetitive projects and tasks, you can sort of time block and task batch, you know, a lot of aspects of your life. And I found that it really works well for certain things. So you guys are going to get to see a look at my Google Calendar and I'll kind of show you what a week looks like at the end of the week. We're gonna talk about how I kind of initially set up all of my weeks before like ahead of time and then what I do sort of pr just prior to that week, what I do to kind of plan out my time. And as a little bonus, I'm going to show you guys how I sort of brainstorm how I want to use my time during my school holidays because as you guys might know, I get two week holidays at once and especially this year, I'm actually not planning on traveling. So that is two weeks where I don't have to work, but I'm going to be at home. So I'm going to show you how I go through and kind of block out my time. And honestly, I do... I like using a Google Calendar and I am pretty um, accurate, I guess, when it comes to what I do at what time, but I do try to leave some, uh, like some amount of flexibility in how I plan out my time because I know, you know, <laughs> Sunday morning Caitlin is very optimistic about all of the things that we're going to do next week, whereas, you know, Wednesday evening Caitlin is less so. So I have kind of figured out a way where I can block out my time, but I know, for example, when I go through and I say, like, I'm going to do this for two hours, that's a guideline. You know what I mean? Like, it's maybe I do it for two hours, maybe I only do it for one, maybe I do it for three, or maybe I said I'm going to do it from 10 to 12 and I ended up doing it in the afternoon. But what I really use it for, and this has actually helped me a lot in not overbooking myself, which I do still sometimes, but what it's really helped me a lot with is I know, for example, if I'm going to be filming, there's no point in me giving myself less than three hours of time because I typically batch film. So like that is one where I do task batch. I tend to do, you know, I film three or four or five videos all at once, depending on the filming session. And I know that it's really not worth it for me if I don't have three hours of time at least. Sometimes it only takes two, but sometimes it takes longer. So as I'm going through and I'm planning out my days, you know, I know, okay, on Thursday I work from eight until 10. If I don't have any other meetings, that can be a filming day. If I have a meeting that cuts up my afternoon, maybe not. And so it's really helped me as I figured out sort of rough time frames for certain activities. It's really helped me as I'm planning through things to know like, okay, this is gonna take a minimum of this amount of time. Ooh, I have a lot less time that day than I thought I did. And so that has honestly been super helpful. The other thing that I really like it for is as I'm kind of planning things in advance. So I know, for example, and this is honestly, I time block and task batch the most with YouTube just because I have a full-time job. Like that's kind of the way it has to go. So I know when I've got a plan with me coming up that at least a week prior to that, I need to have a filming day, which means that during that week, I also need to have an editing day. And so like I can go through my calendar and say, this is when I'm planning to post my plan with me. I need to go back you know, even though it's the pre, like the month before, I can already drop in a three hour time block for filming. I can drop in a two hour block for editing. You know, like I can already kind of start planning those things out so that when I get to that week, I don't go, oh, I have all of this time. I can sew or I can do this or I can do that. I'm like, oh no, I actually, I need to film like that has to be a priority this week. So that is one of the ways that using a Google calendar has been really helpful for me. And I will like, as you will kind of see, I don't really, like task batch work prep, for example, except for during my holidays, as you'll see, because I'm trying to make use of my free periods during the work day. And so like, I kind of will do sort of whatever I have the time for rather than sitting down for an extended period of time to work on stuff. Again, minus during my holidays. I will drop in things like hobbies and that kind of stuff so that I make sure I'm making time for those personal projects that I want to work on. And there's some weeks that I look at it and I'm like, oh, mm, I don't really have extra time. Like I'm gonna not do this thing. But next 
week I have more time, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in. So one thing I'm thinking of is, I haven't really been doing my Talk To Me In Korean lessons since school started, just because that's when I like to do first thing in the morning, and my mornings have been pretty busy. So I haven't really been doing that, but it's something I wanna get back into. So I'll start small and say like, oh, on like Friday morning where I have a lot more time, I'll put in my Talk To Me In Korean lesson. And that's one I always do for an hour, even though most of the time they take about half an hour. But I know like that gives me that time. And you know, again, it's gonna shift depending on how early I wake up. It's gonna shift based on if I decide to do some planning first or what have you. But it just kind of gives me a good overview of the types of tasks that I wanna get to in my week. So without further ado, let's head on over and I will give you a look directly at my Google Calendar and you guys can see how this actually works in action. So this is my Google Calendar, and as you can see, I use one calendar for everything. So I have all of my work stuff and all of my personal stuff. So over here, I've got my different calendars. So anything that is yellow is sunshine and stationery. So that's gonna be anything that is filming, editing, working on my website, even like planning, bujo, planning time, that actually will fall under here. Then I've got events. So anything that happens outside of my house or anything that happens with another person will fall under an event. Goofing off is how I label sort of rest time that isn't necessarily productive. So watching TV, if I spend some time scrolling on the internet, if I just like don't do anything for an hour and just kind of goof off, um, you know, what have you. Then I have home. So this is going to be cleaning, cooking, um, showering in the morning, eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner, anything that has to do with kind of taking care of the house or just like normal like home tasks. Then my blue is anything that regards work. So that is when I'm physically in class, but it is also any meetings I have related to work and any prep work that I do. I don't differentiate those colors because I really want to see that blue, like that's the time that I actually spend on work. And so even if something is a meeting that normally would fall under an event, I do leave it just as blue so it's very clear. Then I've got personal, so that is going to be my morning routine, evening routine, skincare. If I sew, for example, that's personal time. If I read, you know, anything kind of like that. So it's sort of things that don't have another specific category will just kind of fall into personal. And then it does have the little reminder thing, which I don't use very frequently, but I do use sometimes. So as you can see over here, I have all of my days. This is kind of what the end of a week will look like. Obviously, as you can see, my red bar is on Sunday morning. This is when I'm filming. So this is kind of what the week looks like after I've filled everything in. And I really like having this sort of a detailed breakdown of time because honestly, it kind of helps keep me on track. Um, I start seeing when there are weeks that there are just like a lot of pink. I know that I'm probably really stressed out because I... Um, not able to focus on other things and so I need to like work on that so this just kind of gives me an overview like yes it is a little bit overkill I guess to do this sort of extensive calendar planning but I actually enjoy it so I keep doing it and it doesn't take that much time honestly because I do as much as I can to sort of streamline the process so that is where we're gonna look at next week so this is what a week looks like before I really plan for the week. So at the end of the summer, once I get my schedule, I actually go through and I put all my classes in. And I previously, so I think last year, what I would do is I would just say like, oh, I have class from you know nine to one. So I just do a block of time that was like work. And this year I decided to go through, it took a little bit longer, but I decided to go through and do each individual class because that honestly, it helps me learn my schedule faster. And if I need to move a class, I don't have to like mess around with the whole block of work. I just have to move that one hour. So I actually find that it helps It helps me kind of keep on track a little bit more. Um, so as you can see, my work schedule is pretty heavily weighted on the front of the week. And all of these are actually class things except for this one. This is one that this week I did about an hour of planning on Friday. Like I had planned throughout the week, but when I finished my hour of planning on Friday, I decided, you know, I've done everything that I absolutely have to do to be ready for the week. I've worked ahead on a couple of things. Anything else is going to wait until next week. And so I knew one of the things is the, this assignment that I had for my kids is 
uh, it was due on the 18th, so on Friday. And so I decided I'm just gonna plop that in on Monday afternoon that I'm gonna start watching the videos and um, track who's actually done them and all of that. So this is a one-off thing, but one that I actually put in my calendar during last week. So you'll see things kind of like that. So this, I have some appointments that have been set for a while. I have you know, my weekly Patreon Live. I have my weekly craft chat. These two are ones that I dropped in. Uh, Happy Mail was one that I had for this week that I knew I wasn't gonna get to, so I just moved it to next week. And then I had this idea that I wanted to do Project 333, which is based on a book that I read recently. And I think we might end up changing that. Um, so in terms of things that are always on my calendar, I always have my AM routine. So as you can see here, it starts from six to eight. But if we go back, you can see this obviously kind of shifts throughout the week. So I just have this kind of base morning routine that I then will adapt based on when I get up and when I need to leave for work. Ditto my evening routines. You'll see I give two hours in the morning. That's like my ideal morning routine where I can, you know, get up, have coffee, do my journaling, read for a little while sometimes, shower and get ready for work. Breakfast falls in there. I don't usually put breakfast on unless it's like a weekend thing where I take extra, like an extra long morning routine and I specifically do breakfast kind of separately. So two hours is a really good amount of time for me. And and then in the evening, my evening routine is filling out my sun lines a day, brushing my teeth, flossing, skincare if I didn't do it earlier, and washing dishes. So I really only need about an hour for that one. So that is where I have that. So this kind of brackets my day. I know that typically I get up around 5.30, 5.45, so this is going to shift up a little bit. On days like this, I usually leave my house at like 7.15, so I have less time. But this just kind of means that I don't have to add this every single morning. I just have to move it. So the other thing that I also always have, as I mentioned, are all of my classes. So all of these like over here, so not this one, all of these are always on my schedule and I have them set up because I have week A and week B. And so some of them change. So like on week B, I would have an hour here and I would have an hour here on week A, I don't have an hour here. So I already have those changes in there so I know exactly when I have my free time. Now, it looks like I have you know time here, but these are days that I stay fully at school. So these are gonna be the hours that I try and work on doing prep stuff at school. So sometimes when I come home, I will fill that in. Let's see, did I do it last week? Um, so here, I actually had, this was uh, week A, so I had an hour here, I had a meeting here but I wrote in that I graded over here. So you'll see sometimes I will come in and fill that in, but a lot of times I know I'm at work all day, so I don't really mess around with that. If I have any special things for work, so like we have a fire drill on this day, so I've just already put that in. Otherwise, this is what I look at every Sunday that I start thinking like, okay, what do I want to do You know, with my free time? Now, typically, I have this like dream <laughs> that I will get to a point where I'll come home on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and you know, I'll take an hour and a half and I'll do dinner and then I'll do something else. So sewing or reading or what have you. The reality is I usually come home on these days and I am exhausted. So I honestly don't book anything on these two days. Anything that's gonna happen, I book on the other four days of the week. So we're gonna take a look here. I actually have planned, a friend of mine's gonna come over and I'm gonna start teaching her how to sew. I have a colleague that's coming over and I'm gonna teach her how to sew. So this, oh, I forgot, this clean and cook, those are also ones that I've already like pre-scheduled them in. I cook every single week, but I actually clean, like do a big clean every other week, so on like this week, I actually just deleted that one and I didn't have to do a lot of batch cooking, so it only took an hour. So what we're gonna do is, I do have to do my big clean next week, but what I'm gonna do is move it up so that I can do it before she comes and then I'm gonna move my cooking to Sunday because I just kind of know, like if she's gonna come from nine to 12, I don't wanna cook in the afternoon, I'll just go ahead and do it Sunday morning. So, you know, this might shift a little bit, but I at least know that that's what I wanna do for a, a portion of Sunday. The other thing that I kind of had thought about was doing the Project 333, and I think what I actually wanna do is a 10 by 10 challenge. Um, so that is where you do 10 pieces of clothing that you wear for 10 days, and obviously it doesn't count things like you know, socks and underwear, tights, like that kind of stuff. So I think I wanna start with a 10 by 10, and I wanna do specifically a me-made 10 by 10, and I don't think because I'm not doing the 
the project 333 that has a much lar- like longer prep period i think that i can just do kind of like two hours so i want to do that i think i'm gonna leave it on saturday and again like the weekend kind of gets it's a little like whatever but what i do is i make sure when i'm planning stuff out i don't do any overlapping time um so like i know for example when i do a full clean it takes me about 45 minutes so even though it looks like this is pretty close like i i should have enough time to do this so that i think we're gonna leave the prep the 10 by 10. i am gonna do you know what maybe i want to do happy mail as like a first thing in the morning on friday and then i think i'm also gonna do some prep oops i'm gonna do some prep because there's a decent chance that i will need to do a little bit more than i can get done at school i'm gonna try my best to get prep done at school but i'm just gonna throw in an hour there just in case and i think what we're gonna do is do that there and I want to try and do groceries because I go in so late I think I would have enough time to do that uh, so, nope sorry groceries are event that looks pretty good I don't actually know so if you guys have been following you can see it's September I actually lost my internet did I actually write it on here I should have done yep so on September 2nd, my internet went down. And so I have been sans internet for one, two, almost three weeks. On Wednesday, it's gonna be three weeks. So I have left my Patreon Live and my, my craft chat on here, but because I've not had internet, I've actually had to not do them. Um, so I like I leave them on as like wishful thinking that it's actually going to happen, but there's a really good chance that I won't actually be able to do either of these two events, which is a bummer. And it's looking like I'm gonna not be able to do it for like the entire month of September. And honestly, whenever this video goes up, you guys will find out what happened. Um, but for right now, I have no internet, so I'm gonna leave those. But I honestly will end up like putting stuff around it, and then if it turns out my internet doesn't come back, then I will just do something else during that time. So if my friend is going to come over and so I've put in uh, basically like an hour and a half I think I'm going to give it two let's give it two and a half hours just in case I honestly have no idea how long she's going to stay and work on stuff so like we'll see how that goes what else do I want to do so I know for sure I want to do some sewing next week and I usually will do like two hour blocks of time where I drop in sewing. I'm gonna need to edit YouTube. Maybe that's what I wanna do on, I'm gonna need to edit YouTube. I still have two videos left that I filmed a while ago that I need to edit. And I realized as I was like, oh, I'm gonna film this week. Um, I don't have internet, so I don't actually know if I can transfer the footage to my computer so I can edit the new stuff. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm only gonna do two hours because I think that's gonna be kind of you know enough what else do i want to get done next week so i think i'm going to drop sewing in here again there i never i always like to do sewing so i always put in like two or three kind of blocks of time you know what i'm going to put in i have had this cross stitch that i've wanted to start and the reason i never start it is because it's never on my calendar and so i forget about it Ooh, I wanted to do, I haven't done a talk to me in Korean lesson in a really long time. And I want to work on getting that, like start working that back into my schedule. What else do I have that needs to happen? I want to do, oh, so one thing I want to do and kind of show you guys how I sort of plan ahead. So like this is this week. And honestly, I think I'll probably leave it like this because if I end up sewing, it'll end up being for much longer, whatever. But I just kind of drop in any of the main tasks that I know I want to work on. And I'm trying to keep it simple because I know I'm so busy with work at times that I don't want to, you know, start doing all of these new projects or whatever and then not get to them. Ooh, I do actually want to do, uh, do I want to do it after here? Uh, we're going to do it over here. So purge bookshelf. And I think we're going to call that a personal thing. There we go. And I think that'll take an hour and I need to do, oops, plan next week. So I like to do some kind of a planning thing. I And a lot of these, like I block out like the hour, but I'll just reshuffle them as I need. So one of the things I did want to do, so as you can see here, this is one that I don't have anything planned. These are just only my 
pre-planned things. And like, I have this one, I have to do quarterly taxes for my LLC. So I just dropped that in. Like once I set everything up, I just dropped it in for each quarter so that I would know to do it, which obviously I will not be doing it at this time because I actually have class, but I'll move it to another day when, you know, Friday morning, I'll do it. Then we have down here. So any meetings I've got, I drop those in. But what we want is my vacation actually starts. Oh, <laughs> literally need to delete this. I am not going to roam during my holidays, unfortunately. Um, it's just not happening. So these are my holidays. And for reasons, I didn't actually delete. As you can see, I deleted most of my um, work stuff. And for whatever reason, I didn't do those. Did I actually delete these ones? Nope, same ones. I literally don't know how that happened, but cool. Okay, so, and then you can see like when I go back to work, everything's all, all there. So one of the things I know that I wanna do is I wanna do a, I have this idea for a series for YouTube that I wanna do like me made styling. So I take a main piece of clothing that I've made and I style it a bunch of different ways, but I need like to do several of them all at once. So I wanna do kind of a filming day. I need to, ooh, I need to plan my mega goal week for November. So that is definitely gonna take a while. I also know that I wanna work on my font. I wanna actually like finally finish that. We're gonna give that like a two hour, whoops, go away. We need that a two hour little thing. I know that I wanna do, so I think the first week, I'm gonna do what I normally do, where the first week I don't do any work, and then the second week I work on work stuff. So I think what I wanna do here is, I wanna sew, and I'm gonna give it a nice long time. I wanna do at least one talk to me in Korean lesson. And actually, you know what? I think I wanna do two a week during my holidays because I have the time, like why not? And let's do, I wanna do this as like a question mark. Depending on how things are going, I wanna see if maybe I could do like a day trip to Paris just to kind of get out of town. So I'm actually gonna do it because if I leave, I usually leave earlier. What else do I wanna work on during my holidays? Oh, I definitely wanna make sure if I haven't caught up with Happy Mail, I wanna do that. Let's do two hours. And then definitely planning, oh, I need to edit. Obviously, if I film, I'm gonna need to edit. And again, I'm just kind of dropping these arbitrarily in the different days and I'll rework it around. Like once I get closer, I'll kind of plan out my week and say like, oh, I wanna do this on this day or like, I think I wanna do this on this day. Let's see, I wanna do, so we're gonna do for the next week, I'm gonna have, I think, three prep days. And typically when I do a prep day, I'll do, whoops, three hour chunks. Um, and I will usually just do in the morning because that is when my brain is like most able to handle prep, <laughs> you know. So we're gonna do that. And then if I get on a roll and I decide that I wanna do it all day, then I'll kind of drop it in the afternoon, but I know for sure that I wanna do that. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna do four mornings just because I have a feeling if I actually do this, I wanna kind of like work ahead. So I wanna do that. Then there we go. Oh, this one, I wanna see friend and I were talking about doing Hocus Pocus, watching Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to do that as like a, a possibility and we'll do it kind of in the afternoon because eh, I call it four o'clock. Then let's see. I think that's all for right now. So I try not to overbook my holidays, but as you can see, like if I know I've got school holidays coming up and I don't have any like trips planned, this is kind of how I start planning out what I actually want to do. And again, I just do sort of arbitrary blocks of time. I make sure I don't overlap any time, but I also do leave a lot of extra space because, you know, it's only the end of September, like things are going to come up. I might decide that I want to do something else or whatever, but this at least gives me an idea of some things that I wanted to work on during my holidays so that I've already got them sort of blocked out when I go to then set up my weeklies and my projo. So that is kind 
kind of what we're working with. So let's head back on over and we'll have a quick little wrap up chat and do the outro. So that is how I use Google Calendar to help me block out my time and to help me fit my hobbies and YouTube and all of that around my work schedule, which obviously because I don't work a traditional nine to five, I have a bit more flexibility. Like you guys could see like Thursday and Friday are pretty open for me. And so that's one of the times where I can really make use of that those days to do other things. But yeah, it's been working really well. I think I've been using my Google Calendar to kind of block time out like this for a year and a half maybe I don't even remember when I started and honestly I do feel like it has helped even though I do have days where you know I had planned to do all of these things and I'm just not motivated or I'm tired or I'm stressed or whatever and so it doesn't get done I feel like in the long term and kind of in the big picture of things I am getting better at using my time well and I think that using this Google Calendar has honestly been a huge help for that so that is all I have. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know down below. I'll try and answer them in the comments, but if there's something that kind of requires more of an explanation, maybe I'll do a follow-up video. But yeah, in the meantime, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and are actually watching my end screen and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would. There's a little button right there for you to do it. And if you're interested in watching some more of my videos, I have links to two of my older videos off to the left there, so you can check those out if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.